customers get their water from the McKenzie River. It's a, it's a sole source of drinking water for, uh, for the city of Eugene. We have about uh, 200,000 people that rely on that source. So source protection is, um, is a way to preserve something that you already have that's good. Um, and our, we have excellent water quality and eWeb recognizes that it's important to try to keep that excellent water quality for future generations. It's, it's cheaper that way for us. Yeah, threats to, uh, to the McKenzie water supply um, range from uh, tanker trucks carrying hazardous materials, uh, getting an accident spilling their loads, to industrial discharges, to uh, development on the river, septic systems, agriculture, uh, runoff of pesticides from uh, agriculture and forest operations, um, urban runoff from East Springfield uh, during storms from roads and parking lots. There's a couple of problems that, that you have when you try to engineer solutions uh, rather than just prevent them from happening in the first place. One is that um, we cannot treat for some things like dissolved uh, pesticides or pharmaceuticals. Uh, you just simply can't build a treatment plant that can handle that. Um, the other is as we get increased, uh, say, things we can treat for like bacteria or fecal bacteria or um, sediment, that it, in, as we add chlorine, it, it creates what's called disinfection byproducts, which are carcinogens and toxic. And so by keeping those out of the water and not having to do more treatment, you actually keep the water cleaner to start with, and it's cheaper. The Voluntary Incentives Program uh, is really trying to focus on rewarding landowners that have uh, good stewardship in the, in the form of riparian, healthy riparian forests that help filter the water, uh, help reduce sediment loads and erosion, and, and there's just a lot of good things that that, that natural processes in a, in a riparian forest provide us as a downstream water user. So, our program is trying to design to those homeowners that have healthy uh, riparian forests to reward them with uh, what we're calling dividend payments on that natural capital um, and in return for them agreeing to protect that for a long period of time. Well, right now, um, as we look at it, about 55% uh, of the riparian area is not, in our minds, is not healthy. Uh, it's been degraded or it's been impacted in some way. And so really our focus is trying to maintain at least the 45 percent that is still in good good intact shape and i guess what we hope to see is that um, we see a slowdown of the amount of riparian area that is being degraded or built in as this program rolls out and becomes more and more accepted and popular and maybe even a restoration of the stuff that is degraded to to enter the program at some future date so um well i think uh you know one of the things that that i've learned over time is that you know, people don't do things intentionally as landowners. So they don't degrade their land thinking, oh, I want to, you know, do this to impact the river or anything. So I think, you know, this type of approach uh, will help us um, work with landowners better over time and, uh, and understand kind of their perspective and they understand our perspective better over time. And, uh, and uh, hopefully that helps all of us. So our hope is that, um, you know, as, as, that as uh, more and more people participate in the program uh, that and their neighbors become more interested in, in what we're doing but yet they don't have the the riparian conditions to enter the program that they will then be interested to, to get help to, to restore what their riparian area looks like to be able to enter it at some point in the future and I think you know the, the exciting thing is that we are looking at um, setting up kind of block funds or funding that will help landowners easily access the tools they need to restore their lands and, and become part of this uh, voluntary incentives program. And as that program grows and as, the, as we attract other funding from, uh, from corporate sponsors or from uh, other partner organizations that may see that this program has, aligns with their goals and their mission, uh, we look at expanding the area that the, is included in the Voluntary Incentives Program to include other things like uh, wetlands and uh, other parts of the watershed that are, that are important and provide, uh, provide a good um, function for or, uh, processes that help keep the, the water clean and, and the watershed healthy.